Breaking news, fresh revelation about Igboho's arrest. News reaching us says Igboho's arrested, Igboho arrested by Nigerian security, Buhari's alleged sponsorship by federal lawmakers. Hello, my wonderful people. We are all aware that um, Chief Sunday Igboho's house, I would say was boggled by Nigerian government which is a criminal act, yeah, carried out by the Nigerian government, yes? And as if that is not enough, we went on to say Igboho was now arrested on the 18th in Bene Republic when he was trying to travel out, you know, after all that was done to his residence. Now we're hearing Buhari saying that uh, Igboho's arrest, Igbo was arrested by Nigerian security. There are some very solemn things going on here. Let's get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. What is really going on? And why are there discrepancies about what is going on? It's talking about sponsorship by federal lawmaker. Hmm. Let's get the details. Igboho arrested by Nigerian security. Buhari alleges sponsorship by federal lawmaker. President Muhammad Buhari implies today that Yoruba nation agitator Sunday Boho has been arrested by Nigerian security as he said his probe alongside IPOB leader Unande Kanu has revealed his sponsor. In his October 1st speech, Buhari said the recent arrest of Unande Kanu Sunday Boho and the ongoing investigation being conducted have revealed certain high-profile financiers behind these individuals. We are vigorously pushing these financiers, including one identified as a seven member of the National Assembly. Unlike Unande Kanu, who was kidnapped in Kenya last June, Igboho evaded arrest in Nigeria, but he was rearrested 19th July by Benes Authority. At the, Bene, at the Cotonou International Airport in Bene, as he attempted to flee to Germany alongside his wife. He's still being detained in Cotonou for immigration offenses. But President Muhammad Buhari spoke about his arrest in his broadcast, blaming some Nigerian National Assembly members for his sponsorship. This is a clear example of how people abandon their national responsibility position for their selfish gain. Instead of pushing unity, they are funding and misleading our youth to conduct criminal acts that sometimes lead to unfortunate and unnecessary losses of lives and property, Buhari has said. As the so-called leaders run abroad to hide, our innocent youths are misled and left in the streets to fight for their senseless and destructive causes. Buhari threatened that those sponsoring violence and making hate speech to incite disorder will be arrested and prosecuted as they are on it currently now. So Buhari is insinuating that um, Igboho has been arrested. I don't get it because as we speak, Chief Sunday Igboho is very much in Bene Republic. You know, he's being detained there. So what's going on exactly, I don't understand. With Buhari's speech, betraying what he's saying or probably he's not conversant or whoever wrote the speech did not quite edit it properly as we speak buhari uh, uh, i beg your pardon chief sunday Boho is in kotono yeah bene republic uh for related offenses regarding uh immigration again we have been hearing that that is sponsored because some persons have you know and, and they're saying some high profile nigerians are paying the or have spoken to the Bene Republic government, you know, allegedly to keep Sunday Boho there, you know. So when you look at what is happening, there are different opinion or faces of what is going on. The cause of agitation is not because people want to break out of Nigeria. Buhari is the main cause why people want out of this country. 
Buhari himself. You, you know, somebody might be doing something wrong and does not even realize that he's the cause of it. As Buhari ever, I mean, because he's giving a wonderful speech according to him, or those who have written it for him, think that they have written something worthwhile. Yes? Have you thought about it? From 1999 to 2007, nobody in this country said they wanted Nigeria to break up. What about 2007? To uh, uh, from 2007, little Maru Musa Yaradua came on board until he died in 2010. Nobody said they wanted Nigerians break up. Moving forward, 2010, good luck, Jonathan Ibele continued the administration, ended it, contested for election, and continued from 2011 to 2015. Nobody talked about dividing Nigeria. The so called insecurity that we have today was artificially created by these same people. Because the evidences are there, but nobody is probing it. The nations of the world is like they are quite happy with what is going on in Nigeria. Nobody following up on any lead. When you watch these FBI movies and the rest, when there is a little smoke, they trace where the source of fire is coming from. But in Nigeria, it all gets to a dead end. And any case that have to do with Nigeria dies a natural death. Because if you try to probe it, those who want to conceal it will cleverly hide it. You are speaking about Sunday Igbohu, you are speaking about Onandi Kano. What is the reason for the agitation? Because I gave an highlight from 1997, from 1999 to, 2000, to 2021, where we are now. It's from 2015 that the voice of agitation became loudest. When you came on board with your Fulani agenda and you want to put everybody below, when you came on board to, to show to Nigerians that you are not the man on board, this was the reason. You came on board and you began to promote the full and his agenda that everybody should give them Ruga because that was what you promised them. They're going to give them places in Nigeria. But sadly, the war did not take place. What you planned, God took care of it. How you brought people into the country, all the evidences are still there. But nobody, I mean, allegedly, nobody has gone there now to investigate. So what are we talking about? You're facing the soft targets because you're in position. God will help us. Leave us a comment. Remember that it is Independence Day. But what are we really, what are we, what have we been delivered from? What are we independent of? Exactly what are we been independent of in this country? Is it food? Is it importation? Is it, is it, is it education now that we are, we have the best? What, what are we exactly be, 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 be free from? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.